In September of 2017, Life Noggin gained a staggering 20 million views a month, which has fallen to just over 300k views per month in 2024. From when Life Noggin was in his prime to now, he's lost over 98% of his viewership. And today, we're gonna take a look at where everything started falling apart and reaching to the state where it is now. Life Noggin, aka Pat Graziosi, was no stranger to making videos or being on camera. Pat was a film major at Long Island University and appeared on a TED talk in May of 2014, a month before even starting his Life Noggin YouTube channel. But even this wasn't the first time Pat was seen on YouTube. In December of 2012, Pat appeared in a video about Harry Potter quiz on the channel Fandom Forward, which uploads to this day and has over 8,000 subscribers. But in June of 2014, Pat would appear as Life Noggin for the first time on his channel, and surprisingly, the channel had instant success, gaining over 75,000 subscribers within just a year and with less than 50 uploads. But the success wouldn't stop there. In just two years, in June of 2016, Life Noggin would cross over 500k subscribers, which was followed up by the breast year of Life Noggin in 2017, gaining over 140 million views and over a million subscribers in just a single year. But unfortunately for Life Noggin, this year would be the last time the channel would see success anywhere close to this. And since 2017, Life Noggin would see a slow and gradual decline in the channel. But to cut Life Noggin a bit of slack, we need to specify that because he's an animation YouTuber, some of his decline has been out of his control. Animation on YouTube has had many ups and downs, and most animation YouTubers blew up around the same time in 2014 to 2017, which was around the same time when Life Noggin blew up as well. But since then, animation on YouTube has had a downward chart, with it not being as popular as it was before. And we can see this trend when we look at Life Noggin's best month ever back in September of 2017, gaining well over 20 million views, when animation was somewhat around its peak. And since Life Noggin had no control over the popularity of animation, you could say it was an element of luck, but that's debatable because channels like The Odd Ones Out, Jaden Animations, and Chains FR still get tens of millions of views per month doing animation. So where did Life Noggin go wrong? For starters, Life Noggin was massively known in the animation space with his character Blocko, who was a bunch of rectangles and squares combined together to look like a human. And if we look at thumbnails from when Life Noggin was at its peak, it's pretty clear that the branding was done very well and it's easy to recognize. Practically every thumbnail had a block shaped person with no eyes or any facial features. And this is what made it very easy for a viewer to recognize it was a Life Noggin video. And this would be the first mistake made by Life Noggin over the years. If we take a look at these most recent thumbnails, it's practically unrecognizable that it's a Life Noggin video, due to the fact that even though the thumbnails feature square heads, they also have eyes, hair, and show expression, and even emotion to an extent. And although this would be seen as a good thing if any other YouTuber did it, it would have the exact opposite effect for Life Noggin. It feels like they parted ways with their unique branding style throughout time, which I think played a huge part in the drop in viewership. Before, the audience could tell it was a Life Noggin video in a blink of an eye, and now it's far from that. And the change in branding wouldn't stop there with them changing their logo as well. However, this was just a part of the decline. The main reason for the drop in views is because of the shift in audience interest. When Life Noggin created the channel, it seemed fresh and innovative. It was one of the few animated science YouTube channels which sparked interest in kids and audience alike who like to learn. But as time went on, new channels like ASAP Science and Planet Dolan popped up, 
and because of this life noggin had a hard time to keep its audience and this combined with the viewers getting older and losing interest in this kind of kids content life noggin would slowly slip into irrelevancy where it sits right now without changing the type of content or changing over time with the algorithm it's hard for any channel to stay relevant for long and with life noggin not adapting to youtube over time and still making videos like it's 2014 it's obvious to see why life noggin failed in the long run and it sits in the youtube archives now but if you're still watching and made it to the end of the video please subscribe we're nearing a thousand subscribers and it really helps out thank you